This video will show you how to use variables to rename files during a wildcard transfer that transfers multiple files. AFT has different variables for renaming files during wildcard transfers. They are denoted by dollar dollar signs in front and after the variable name. The first one is the AFT file variable, which represents the full file name but preserves the file extension. So even if you put something after this variable, AFT will always put the original extension of the file as the last bit of the new file name. The AFT file all variable does exactly the same, but it doesn't preserve the extension. So it will just put the original file name in there completely as is. And whatever you put in front or after this will be just like you specified it. The AFT file name variable just contains the name of the file without the extension and AFT file ext contains the extension of the file name. So here we've got two machines, machine A and machine B, and we'll be transferring files from machine A to B using the different variables to see what effect each has. I've set up five jobs and each of the jobs does exactly the same thing. They transfer from machine A to machine B, uh, those three files that exist on machine A with a wildcard to a directory on machine B. And each of the jobs does a different rename of the destination file after the transfer is complete. So job one, all it does is it appends the file name to the text job one. Job two does the same thing but adds a extension. Job three uses the AFT file all variable name. And job four does the same thing, but adds an extension. And the reason I'm showing this is because it's, it'll have a different effect from jobs one and two. And job five uses the file extension and the file name without extension and juggles those around to see what effect that has. So here I've already ordered the jobs. If I run the first one, after it's completed, you can have a look at the destination files. And we can see the files were transferred and the text job one dot was prepended to the file name. So we run the next job. This uses AFT file variable with an extension. Now we can see these are the files copied by job two. And the extension that we specified was appended to the file name, but the original extension of the file was actually put as the new extension of the file. So this variable AFT file uh, makes sure that the extension is still preserved as the last piece of the file name, as the actual extension. So whatever you type after the file name will still come before the, the file extension of the name. So if you run job three, which uses the AFT file all variable, this does AFT file all with the job three prepended to it. So it's actually exactly the same as the what job one did. But now with job four, it uses AFT file all with an extension. And now we can see that the extension we specified is has actually been put as the new extension. So it's appended as, as the very last bit of the file name. And the original extension of the file is here. So that's the difference between using AFT file all or just AFT file. Let's run our final job and see what effect that has. So here we put the extension first and then the file name. So those two different variables, AFT file X and AFT file name, you can basically put each part of the file name exactly where you want it. Thanks for watching this video. 
check our YouTube channel for many more.